What's up everyone, this is Live Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn any website into an app on your home screen. Now this is actually really cool, this is not adding something to your home screen as if you were to click the share button, this is turning a website into a full screen application that doesn't open up in Safari on your iOS device. So you can see I have the Apple website inside of an app it looks really cool and what's great about this is that if there's a website you like but they don't have an application for it for example this website right here you can turn it into an app on your iphone <clears throat> you can turn it into an app on your iphone thanks to this awesome siri shortcut and what's really great about this is you can have custom icons and this technically means that you can then theme your ios device so without further ado let's get started with the tutorial all right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just download this shortcut and you're gonna to wanna to type in the profile name. Now, a lot of this stuff is useless information, so you can just go ahead and put in random stuff, but there are two main categories that matter and that is the name of the icon and then the image itself and then the link. So when it says web clip name, that's gonna show on the home screen. The URL is going to be what opens up the website. Now in this case scenario, I've already shown you what it looks like when you open up a website. But if you do music colon slash slash, that'll actually open up the music app. So if you type in the name of any app and then do colon slash slash, it'll open up that app. So for example, I just typed in music colon slash slash and it'll open up the music app. Now what's cool about this is you can email it to yourself and then tap on it and then it will download to your home screen. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. So when you tap on it, it should open up settings. And if it doesn't work, just go to settings and then general profiles and device management, and then just go back to the download and then tap on it and it should work. And then boom, you can see I have this custom app icon made and it'll open up the music app or it'll open up a website that you chose. Now I just wanna mention that not every application will be easy to name. For example, the Apple Wallet application, the code name I guess is shoebox. So if you type in shoebox colon slash slash, it'll actually open up that instead. So I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description to pretty much every application that you want for stock iOS. They're called iOS schemes in case you wanna do any further research into that. But yeah, what's really great about this as well is that maybe if you have the YouTube app on your iPhone and it uses up too much storage or another app that has a website, you can go ahead and delete the app and then just use the website as an app format on your iOS device and it's pretty cool and you can save a bunch of storage. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.